This is the fourth full east stairwell. We are attacked by a quartet of stealth balls. Back four. Right, um, from experience playing this game, just testing it out, uh, we can't attack the rear rank. Okay, so we are limited to attacking the front rank, which is exactly what we'll do. So, punch. Kick. Okay, and... Lightning bolt. Actually... Yeah, let's lightning bolt that one. See if we can get rid of it. There we go. Okay, and we're back to the same thing, so punch, and a kick, oh that took that one out almost immediately, okay, interesting, ooh, I see, they're illusions, so let's not punch the illusion, let's punch the real one, no, that wasn't the real one, that's the real one. Yeah. See you later, twin. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right, so now once again, which one is the real one? Let's try this one. Yeah, that's the real one. Well, we beat four monsters at once. Three? Huh? There were four. There were four. I think some of them were holograms. You saw how some just disappeared when we touched them? Yeah, I wish they were all that easy. Because they weren't really there. They were just light. A hologram is made using an interference pattern produced by beams of coherent light, as opposed to live streams, which are made by beams of incoherent... Well, um, yeah, words. Um, coherent light? You're not exactly being coherent here. Coherent light is where all the photons are in sync, so the beam is stronger. The important thing is, it's not always believing. They tried to trick us. These monsters are sneaky. They're like William. So don't take anything for granted. Is this a learning game? So I'm starting to think it is. Yes, but it is called Science Girls. So that's not really that surprising. Let's go down. As we reach the third floor, we hear a bang and a clatterer. Who is that? Something big fell over. I think it came... I'm not in the wrong voice. I think it came from the storage room. Let's go. We burst through the door to find... Eek! Heather! Hmm, how should we... What should much voice should Heather have? I don't know, I don't know. In fact, I've, I've pretty much gone through my entire gamut of voices here, really. You startled me, you did! Heather is in the engineer is the engineering representa representative of the science club. She's very shy and quiet and gets good grades in everything except Jim. Jim just doesn't like her for some reason. We heard a crash. Looking around, it's easy to see why. The floor is covered with bits and pieces: an old bucket, a bike handlebar, a graphing calculator, a mop, a broken fan. Whatever Heather was doing in here, it certainly made a mess. <laughs> okay, I think the, uh, <laughs> the, the 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 Welsh one is like uh, uh, the the deep manny voice will probably be happening. I think it's about six or six or so girls in this, and I'm running out of voices. Did you know there are monsters in the school? I saw them. I did, and had to hide. That's why I'm here. I was trying to build a robot to fight them, but I can't find enough parts. Is enough parts? Not for a mecha. Come on, we're gathering the club to investigate. I can't. <laughs> I can't leave. I don't have enough weapons. And, and, oh dear, this this accent's straying all over the place, isn't it? I can't leave. See, I don't. I haven't built a weapon yet. I don't have the equipment for lasers or a giant robot. 
But I think I can make a multi-target slingshot. That would help the holograms. I just need the plans. And the elastic bands. I left them in the fifth floor somewhere. Could you, you go and get them, please? Okay, let's head back up to the fifth floor. Um, yep, yeah, let's go up here. We go through the explored route. Go up. Go up. Go up. To the hallway. <laughs> I don't think he, I also don't think Terry Wogan's uh, a female, but uh, never mind. Yeah, okay, nothing here. We're attacked by a trio of root heads. All right, well, we can deal with these guys. Yeah. Right, kick, root head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's going to get annoying fairly fast. Yeah. Right, there we go, let's get rid of them. Why does she have plans for a multi slot shing shot? asks Fat Frog. Uh, who doesn't? Me. Am I odd? Ah, but you aren't a girl at school. I certainly remember trying to build a multi-elastic ba elastic band catapult. Leave. I'd love to have known you at school. I really, really would. I really, really would. Okay. Ah, there are the plans. I scoop up some papers. Forgetting something? She picks up a triplet of gleaming bands. They look heavier than slingshot bands should need to be. Right, we got the incomplete slingshot. Let's get back. Go down. Go down. To the hallway. Yep. There we go. Did you get the plans? Here they are, and the bands too. Yay. So, he oh, did you hear that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Heather has joined the party. She's uh, level three. She special power, better slingshot. Okay. Only three party members can be in the front row at a time. Party members in the back row can't attack monsters, use special powers, or use items. However, monsters cannot usually attack the girls in the back row, except with area attacks. And girls in the back row will regenerate one special point every round. You can switch places with back row girls during battle using the swap command. The girl brought forward will get to take her turn immediately. If girls in the front row are knocked out, back row girls will step forward to replace them. So there we go. Hello, Wendy. Right, so we now have Heather in the party, who's got a better slingshot. Now... Okay. Now, if we're going to be using her to attack illusionary monsters most, we don't really need to up this at the moment, because all we need to do is do some damage to all of them. So, I'm actually going to start upping her... her melee attack like that, and then she's, uh, she becomes a good fighter almost immediately, which I think is great. Yeah. Well, you, um, people still don't know about Beam, but they're starting to learn. And that's the important thing. Okay, so there we go. We now have... I'm going to keep Heather at the back row for a minute. Because um, uh, I'm... Well, no real reason. Uh, return. This is room 305. We're packed... <laughs> a grassy knoll. <laughs> We are packed, attacked by a pair of trivines and a grassy knoll. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see if we can take out these grassy, uh, these trivines first. Let's give us a chance to see what the grassy knoll does. Punch trivine two. Kick 
kick. Try vine two. Yeah. And lightning bolt. Try vine two. Let's get rid of it. Oh, 23 points of damage. Excellent. Okay, it does an ordinary attack. Alright, okay. Let's go for the other try vine. Starting to pick up a little bit of damage. Might need to do some healing in a little bit. Notice the back row girl doesn't do anything. There we go. Got rid of that. How are we doing for uh, spell points? Jennifer needs to... Actually, I think... I will swap Jennifer back, as you guys have suggested. Because she's actually getting a bit low on spell points. It'd be good to have a healer in in defense. So we'll swap with Heather, and then Heather slaps. Give him a slap. Yeah. All right, punch, jab, slap. What's your special? Oh yeah, special is the area attack. I forgot. Right, seems to have a few hit points. But it's not doing much damage. I like that. I like that in a monster. Hello, Chelsea! Yeah. Did I manage to get out of the nether? Yes, I got out of the nether. And I'm never going back. Okay, they've all got experience. That's good. This is room 306. Found a coffee. Oh, good. It's room 303. It used to be the computer lab. Before it was remodeled, there is nothing here. Last room 302. We are attacked by a pair of trivines. Oh, we're not worried about them anymore. All right, pizza's starting to get a bit hurt there, I think. All right. Jab. And slap. Not much help if you dodge. I think we're going to send the other Trivine to sleep. Hypnotize, Trivine 1. There we go. Jab, Trivine 2. Slap, Trivine 2. Ooh, 10 points of damage. That's not bad. Oh, waste of time sending him to sleep because we're now going to do this. Chelsea, you tell me if you think this game is fun. Uh, your special attacks. Let's lightning bolt the thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Rear rank characters still get experience points as well. That's important. Right, continue. This is the door to the music room, but it won't open. Do you think... The <clears throat> excuse me. Do you think the teachers locked it for the night? Maybe we can skip this room. No, I hear something moving inside. Hello, is anyone in there? There is no response. I tug at the door, but it's locked tight. Does anyone know how to pick locks? <laughs> oh dear, that's a bit cliché, isn't it? The Welsh girl knows how to break into buildings. Mm, you don't need to pick it. All you need to do is remove those screws and take off the cover. Then you can push the door, uh, push open the latch from the other side. She fiddles around with some metal bits. Okay, it's open. We charge into the music room. It's Mr. Painsley, the band director, who looks about seven, but is totally bald. Ack, go away! You'll attack and uh, attract monsters. Heather closes the door behind us. What are you doing? Get out! We thought there might be a monster in here, or someone injured. No, it was perfectly safe until you came along. But now, there'll be monsters here when they follow you in. Sorry, I'll fix it, I will. Heather opens the door wide and kneels in front of it. What are you doing? Now come in! Heather hunches her shoulders and tries to look small while she reattaches the doorknob. She's fixing the door. Which she can do faster if you're not yelling at her. I'm sorry, it's just that with you in here, the monsters are coming. 
men will fight them like we have been. What makes you think they'll come just because we're here? This is a school for girls. The monsters came here, therefore they're looking for girls. What? You don't know that? This place could have been chosen completely at random. If they attack several schools, that might mean something, but we only know of one attack and that's not enough data to draw conclusions. Everyone knows that monsters love schoolgirls. They've been chasing girls around. They've ignored me long enough for me to hide. Therefore, they are attracted to girls. Heather finishes reattaching the doorknob and hides sheepishly behind Nicole. Just because you were able to hide doesn't mean the monsters only chase girls. Heather shyly interrupts. I was able to hide too. What do we have in common? You aren't really a boy or something. No. If you, saw a, if you saw a cat chasing a mouse, would you assume that mice aren't interested in it? Uh, blah, 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 words. If you saw a cat chasing a mouse, would you assume that cats aren't interested in anything but mice? Besides, that's different. Everyone knows that cats only eat mice. It's Pizza, our character. Yes, Pizza was our character named by popular vote from the chat at the time. Anyway, I've been trying to say they were attacking Mr. Brayer, and I don't think he's a girl. Not with that moustache. Oh dear. He checks the door to make sure that it's locked. Mm. Mm. I have it. I know what you have in common with Dave. Dave? Ooh, wrong voice. Mr. Brayer. Oh. He's always chatting away on his cell phone, and girls are gossipy and often use cell phones. Oh. <laughs> oh dear, I think if, he, if the monsters don't kill him, the girls will... Ah! No, it makes perfect sense. I keep the turn, my phone turned off at work, so they wouldn't go after me. Look, just because two things are both true does not mean that one causes the other. <laughs> okay, he's made Melody want to kill him. Okay, this is, you know, clearly he's a monster. For... <laughs> For we know they're scared of pants, or cellists, or they just didn't notice you. No, it's definitely the phones. But my phone's in my docker. Yes, but you're a girl. They'd expect you to have a cell phone. Nah! Nicole goes off fuming to stare out the window. Should we call for help? You can't do that. You'll attract the monsters. If they're, attra if they're attracted to cell phones. But they are, and I want you long ladies out of here before, before you attract monsters. Jennifer rolls her eyes. Whatever. Oh good, that music is no longer going in my ears. That was getting painful. Who are you going to call? The police? Maybe. Maybe I'll call Ghostbusters. <laughs> okay, and, and two of the most tolerant people I've ever met, both Melody Buster and Shizzy, both want to kill this guy. So, I mean, it says a lot really, doesn't it? Maybe? Do you think they'll believe us? Mm, the university then? And have someone else get to, do, get to do the first papers on these monsters? No way! Oh, spoken like a true scientist, Jennifer. Right. <laughs> okay, let's go down. There is nothing here. Finally! No monsters! Maybe we've gotten them all! Something falls from overhead! Right on cue! Oh dear. Okay. So, poison spider in banana bunches becomes poisoned bananas. Okay, right. I'm going to have to swap Heather out, I think. Banana spider. Wonderful. Let's get the lightning bolts out. Yeah, poison killing her off, so let's swap her out with Jennifer. And what's the guy's like health wise? Um, actually, let's chuck a heal on Heather just in case. Oh, we can heal Heather. Excellent. So we can heal back into the back row, that's good. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 
see if we can get this guy killed as fast as possible because this is going to be nasty. There we go. <laughs> yes, finally a character more hated than Damien. To the hallway! To the hallway! Oh, this is a different design. Let's go in here. This is room 202. There is nothing here. This is room 201. We're attacked by a pair of plump... Oh, oh these names are just getting punnier and punnier, aren't they? <laughs> okay, special. Hypnotize. Plumbob 1. Let's only deal with one of these. There we go. Excellent. So, kick. Oh, okay, they're fairly fragile, that's good. <laughs> it's so good that... Uh, <laughs> it's so good that uh, Damien still has his fans. Yes, I quite like it as well. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's go here. This is the nurse's office. I stalk. <laughs> I stalk. Uh, I can't read the rest of it because the weight machine's in front of it. I right. bet we can find a lot of useful stuff in here. Bandages, medicine, even scalpels. Hey, you can't just barge in and take stuff. These supplies are for emergencies. Well, I'd call this an emergency. We're under attack by aliens. Isn't that an emergency? I agree with Nicole. So... Do we agree with Jennifer, or do we agree with Nicole? Is it, uh, should, basically, should we loot this place to the bedrock, yes or no? I still like Damien. I will not offer him my soul, though. Huh. I think, to be totally honest with you, you know, people need to justify the fact that they, 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 they've got a use for their soul before they... Uh, Alright, okay, loot, loot, loot. Bedrock it is. Let's agree with Nicole. Nicole's right. We're fighting to save the school. We deserve all of the help we can get. Um. I look around, but most of the supplies appear to be locked up in drawers or cabinets. Oh, I see. Asking the Welsh girl. Heather? Heather, can you get these open? I don't think I should. Ha, huh, you tell them. Come on, just open it. Please don't fight. If I don't step in, club morale will totally fall apart. Let's compromise. We'll take what we need to patch us up if we get we're badly hurt. We'll leave the rest alone. Okay, okay. Jennifer examines our injuries. I think we're strong enough to carry on. So that so mean she's healed us up? Uh, no, that doesn't mean she's healed us up. Uh, first aid. Click on a party member to use this power. It will cost Jennifer 5 SP. Oh, that seems like a good deal. Uh, there we go. Brilliant. Okay. Return. Actually, thinking about it, let's take Jennifer out the front. Uh, all the rich girls take their... Oh, I see. That's not what I want. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to do that. All right, never mind. Uh, let's go here. This is the bridge connecting the school to the junior school. We are attacked by a spitting slurrup and a pentet. A pentet of slurrup seedlings. Right. Okay, I'm going to keep pizza, but I think we're going to swap Jennifer out for Heather so she can use her mass attack. So, let's kill a seedling. Yeah. Swap with Heather. Heather, better slingshot. There, that's, that's even the odds a little bit, isn't it? Jab. No targets in range, so we'll just defend. Okay. Well, that worked well, so... 
punch. See if we can take out Seedling. Excellent. And jab. Uh, no, dodge and slap. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's bad. Okay. Punch. Alright, need to take these out again. Jab. Uh, nope. Nope, no, no, special. Slingshot. There. Ow! Okay, this is going to get really, really annoying really, really fast by the looks of it. Punch. Jab. Mass murder. I think actually I'm going to move um, uh, Heather's attack right up to the start. Right, okay. See if we can take it out before it breeds some more. Let's chuck some lightning at it. And. Right, it's probably run out of spell points thinking about it, hasn't it? Punch! Okay, I'm gonna swap, uh... <laughs> I meant Simon, don't make me sick the bunnies on you. Actually, I'm a bit hungry, sick the bunnies on me. Let's swap Nicole out so she can regen. And then Jennifer can kick it in the rosebuds. How many hit points does this thing have? There, finally. Actually, that's not a bad idea. The problem is that... Uh, um, I don't think uh, it can attack... That it can use that to attack the back row, but next time we'll give that a try, okay? So, gained five hit points and five spell points. Gained another skill. Both of them gained another skill. Excellent. Oh, dear. Okay, learned affirmation, learned nerve pinch. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> I guess alien spores do grow that fast. There's an acrid smell in the air like someone spilled cleaning fluid everywhere. But that puzzle of green ooze doesn't look like cleaning fluid, and there's more up ahead. What is that stuff? It looked like it might be some sort of acid. We should ask Andrea what to do about it. The puddle of slime fizzes slightly at the edges. Okay, right, a few things I want to do here. Um, reorder party. Right, Heather's attack should go at the start. I'm thinking. So that way we do the area attack before the individual attacks. Alright. And this game is fun, I think, to be totally honest with you. Alright, and Pizza and Jennifer. Let's see what we can do with you guys. So, affirmation. Oh, a buff! Okay, so raises accuracy by um, a little bit, defense by a little bit, and resistance by... and damage resistance... oh, that's not bad. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Alright, that's almost worth buffing, to be totally honest with you. Uh... see what's she look at 21 spell points yeah so she can get two casts out of that right okay let's get that up and then next level will up affirmation I think what do the items do well they're all seem to be foodstuffs at the moment so they're probably gonna heal people up is there anyone yes Heather needs healing so let's try a mandarin Okay, a small tart orange regain four hit points and two spell points. Okay, so Heather can eat a mandarin. There you go. A little bit of a heat heal up there. Got a bit of mana out of it as well. That's good. 
Uh, I recently learned that Andrea is spelt that pronounced that way. Everyone I know, is, everybody I know that's Andrea is pronounced Andrea. Okay. Nerve pinch. Does. My stun! Oh, oh, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. First aid is still good enough. Kick is still pretty good. Uh. Hmm. I think I actually I'm going to give her. Yeah, I'm going to give her a point of special because her hit her special points are a bit low. So let's give her a point of special there. Okay. 